Here I have an outside corner of the drywall, and it's going to have to have a corner bead attached to it. What I'm using is a metal corner bead. But you'll notice we, we need something wide enough to cover this raw edge. And actually this first sheet that was hung was a little bit short. So we need something that's going to cover this edge and protect it and make it nice and straight. And what I'm using here is a metal corner bead. This is the kind of the traditional bead to use. These little legs on here are only an inch and an eighth, maybe an inch and a quarter. So any gap wider than this is really not going to cover that well. But what I do is I put it in play, and I always cut a little bit short. I don't want it tight against the floor, so I have about a three-quarter of an inch uh, gap, and I just go right tight up against the ceiling. And this just gets squared up and then nailed in place. So we're nailing it through the drywall into the wood frame. Now, the proper way to nail on this corner beat is every eight inches, you're supposed to put a nail every eight inches, and the nails have to be opposite each other. In other words, if I put a nail here, on that side, you want to put a nail opposite. If I were to stagger them, let's say one here, then one here, then one here, it tends to dimple the bead out slightly. It tends to dimple the outside edge out slightly. So attaching it this way, you're going to get better results. Um, the thing about metal corner beads, it does take quite a while to put this many nails in, probably about three minutes or so to properly do it. Um, but it's important because you want to eliminate potential with edge cracking or bead popping loose. So make sure you get it nailed properly. And you'll also notice as I that just before I put this nail in, I'm actually taking the end of my hammer and I'm tapping it in nice and square and tight. Holding it in place with my hand, and then so every eight inches from the bottom all the way up to the top. If you can't reach the very top, you need to stand on something to do it because it's important. Funny, a few years ago I was doing a demonstration, so it was something I was going to just tear out, right? So I actually put three nails one, two, three, four, five, six nails in the whole bead. Coated it, painted it, and it looked beautiful. But is that going to hold up? Is that going to look good forever? The answer would be no. It needs to be fastened properly. So every eight inches, opposite each other with the nails, and from top to bottom. Now I'm going to actually put the, the first coat over this corner bead. It's just going to be about five or six inch wide uh, compound on each side of this bead. And I'm going to screw right along this edge so the very outside edge is still clean, somewhat clean and showing. Um, I'm using all-purpose heavyweight compound or a taping compound. Um, I know a lot of people ask me, can I use a lightweight? And I'm like, no, don't use a lightweight compound, your first coat over your corner bead. Other people will also say, what about a setting compound? Isn't that a harder, stronger compound? And it is a harder compound. It probably even is a little stronger, but it doesn't adhere as well. The all-purpose heavy weight sticks to this corner bead, sticks to this drywall really well. So that's the best compound for your first coat over your corner bead. So that's what I'm going to do now. Get some compound on my trowel, and take my knife and just coat it. One thing you'll notice that when I'm applying the compound to the bead, I kind of go at it, I'm kind of going at a slight angle. See how my knife is just gradually coming off the bead? As opposed, if I go like this, in the opposite direction, I get all that spewing over the other end. So when I apply it, I go like this. It's a cleaner, it does a little cleaner job. <clears throat> So I go ahead and I put the compound on both edges right away before I even start cleaning it up, smoothing it out, I should say. Okay, so now I have the compound on. I'm just going to take my trowel and just 
ride it right along that bead. Basically screeding right along that metal beaded edge. We'll do the same thing on this side. So that's your fill coat over this corner bead. I've got it feathered out pretty well. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to put another coat over this later. Uh, but the edge is pretty clean. I haven't built it up on that beaded edge at all. And right now I can see a little bit of compound that kind of spewed over. So I'll just take the back of my knife and just remove it. So that's how easy it is to put the fi first fill coat over your corner bead. The two important things you have to remember. Use the proper compound and keep that outside edge clean.